Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a reading today for Cancer and see what's coming in for the week ahead. Out of the African Goddess Oracle, we have number five, which means change and conflict, radical rebirth, shame, and cosmic power. 19 and 2. Out of the Wisdom Energy Oracle, we have the Thinker, 44, and building blocks is at the bottom, 28. Let's get the energy oracle. See who needs to hear a message. It's coming in for my cancers at this time. Right. We got strategy 21. Somebody's thinking long and hard about something, how they can coax or create something, beat it, join it, whatever, strategy, but I'm going to pull one more card, be all, see all, 15, appreciation, okay, 15 is the devil energy, Capricorn, um, we all know that's about Toxic traits, um, addictions, codependency, uh, thinking patterns, and then we have all tied up at the bottom, number 23. So you're all up in your head, Cancer. What's going on? Hmm. The energy feels pretty heavy. So I... I'm like, I just seem coming apart. So... You may be bursting at the seams, literally, because you're just done with everything. Done like dinner. <laughs> done like dinner. So that's the answer. Coming to life. Beautiful. 29. Coming to life in your own new wondrous way. Glorious way, I would say. Metamorphosis, like a butterfly evolving, and unexpected visitors. Uh, 41, peaks of joy. But you're definitely coming to life after this heartbreak and solitude. Just don't give up on yourself quite yet, Cancer. If you're going through a hard time, hang in there. up quick. Metamorphosis. Yeah, so expect visitors. And peaks of joy. Peaks of joy. Now we need to go in for that card. Let's go in with the Romance Angel Oracle. Let's see who's moving towards you. What's going on in this connection between you both? Coming in for cancer at this time. Do they need to know? Religious factors. Um, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you guys might um, be different uh, religious-wise background, and you might have different beliefs, you know, cultures, one could be a Satan worshiper, one could be a Christian, or an atheist, what else, or a cancer. Someone hasn't seen your point of view, I feel like, your pers perspective, past life relationship, you have known each other before. We walk in the fine line here. We got true love and getting to know each other. This is the romance of a lifetime. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, we got honeymoon at the bottom. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Let's get some time and wellness island oracle cards. Yeah, talking in sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. 
Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives. Text, call, email, and hovering. Someone could be stalking me. Or just straight messing with your heartstrings. It's coming in for cancer. We got sunglasses again in paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. These aren't my favorite cards, guys, but I still use them. I like you. We have I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. And clocks at the bottom. Need time, takes time. In time, cycles, time to heal, progress. Alright. So your feelings are evolving. If you're just getting to know somebody new, take it slow. Move them. Don't rush the gun. Don't rush into things. Don't do things you know are bad for you. Yeah, right. What is coming in? We're going to pull some tarot now with the Rider Waite. Three Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. We're there. Um, that's all about collaboration. Good people, peers, um, those closest to you. Could even be business, like work related. And rushing in with the Knight of Swords there. Um, could be an air sign. Yep. Aquarius, the star, first card out, and the Eight of Swords. So you're really feeling stuck in your head. Trapped. Not good. You need to change your outlook on things, your perspective. Uh, Knight of Wands. Maybe you just need some inspiration. Or enthusiasm for something. Joy. Inner love. Self-love. Um, we got the Three of Pentacles again. The Five of Swords. And the Empress. Move this so you can see. Get your person's energy. It's coming in for cancers. Who's moving towards my cancer? I want it. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Someone's hanging on to you or delusion. They're obsessed. They could be obsessed. Um, like I said, stalking. He doesn't seem to be wearing a, you know. A good mask or a heart on their sleeve or they're wearing a mask Sorry. they have judgment Scorpio energy page of swords temperance and page of cups someone is definitely gaslighting you it could be a air sign it could be a Sagittarius um, it could be a Scorpio or Aquarius or Taurus is here on the board. One more card. Eight of Pentacles. They might just want you. They're very um, dead set on what you have and not giving equally back, like receiving, giving, and taking. Not cool. We got the Eight of Wands. Communication after delay. Ten of Wands. A burden. Carrying, prolonging something, carrying it out longer than it has to be. Mm, would you want to use this deck to clarify the modern witch tarot deck? This is a neat little deck, guys. Alright. There's that Three of Pentacles again. With the Queen of Cups. Kind of sense the two of pentacles energy they're juggling something back and forth in your mind should i stay should i go should i do this should i not 
very stressful. But you can adapt quickly with cancer. You are able to come up with an outlet, an idea, for a strategy, and um, somebody is appreciating you for that. And why are you? It's a star. Why is it here? Or cancer. Too many, too many. An exciting adventure awaits with the Ten of Swords after something dies and ends between this toxic person, whoever this may be. It's this Eight of Swords. The Hangman, after you change uh, your pers a shift in perspective. The Knight of Wands, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah. You've been um, putting up with this crap for far too long, I feel like, and uh, are you ready to release the burden? It's this Three of Pentacles. The Three of Swords, yeah, they could have had third party interference. No deal. What's this? Five of Swords, Two of Swords. You came to a decision, you stick to your guns, You your intuition is telling you one thing, and it was spot on, and you listened to it, so good job. The Empress, we have the Five of Wands clarifying it. The conflict, the battle is over, it has been fought, or it could be ongoing if you have kids with this person. If they're younger kids, visitation, all that good happy stuff, you could be... In the mix, I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Okay, what do we have for this judgment for their energy? This person likes you, like to the point, like I said, of obsession. Why are they? Hmm. All up in there. Something is going on. Let's find out more. <clears throat> okay, the Queen of Cups could be a Pisces for some of you. Or their person was a Pisces. Page of Swords, we have the Hermit and the Five of Cups. The person hasn't healed, they're still hurt, they have unresolved issues, um, could be even be some disorders, this is temperance, the three of pentacles, they tried putting, um, on a show, putting on a front to other people, telling them stuff about you, could be, um, that wasn't true, made up, and they're trying to get people to turn against you. Here with the, because temperance is all about balance. Sagittarian energy, doing the right thing. One foot on, in water, one foot on earth. So, it's usually a pretty happy, well, um, mean well card. Page of Cups, we have the Seven of Cups options. They had too many options. They were giving you the worst, you know, little to nothing what they had. Not giving it their all, basically. That's the Wheel of Fortune. The Devil. There's that Capricorn energy. Fourteen twenty-five on the screen. All right, what do we got? Ten is completion. Definitely, it's over between you guys. This is Eight of Pentacles. They could just also be focused on work at this time. Yeah, the Ten of Cups, they could have a family with somebody. What's the outcome? 
Five of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. They're still reminiscing about their ex could be, or you are. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom. Hardworking, diligent, finding the solution to the problem. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks so much for joining. Take care now. Bye.